Welcome back to the channel, Santa Gaming, we are back with yet another video. So in today's video, we kind of end off on the little bit of a defense that we did in the last video. Um, they finally do eventually leave us alone, we finally defend them off, and we're finally able to sleep for a little bit, even though we were up to like 5.30 a.m. It was quite rough, but we do get the base progressed a little bit. Later in the video, we actually do move spots, thanks to the bozo, he actually got us another spot. But um, with that being said, before we do get in the video, the best Windows 10 and Xbox server is actually wiping next Friday on the 15th with it being a 15 times rate, six man tribes, get all your friends together, hope to, guys, hope to see you guys there. We are doing a lot of things like a lot more custom caves, we have custom drops, a lot of new balances, the admins are doing a lot of early game events and everything for the wipe day. So with that being said, hopefully you guys do enjoy the video, check out the Discord link in the description and in the pinned comment and hopefully you guys do enjoy the video. So if you guys would have watched the previous video, you would have seen that we were dealing with tribes pulling up, trying to raid us like the entire night. Um, the wife ended up getting off at like 12.31 a.m. and I ended up staying up till like 5.30 a.m. Just PvPing, defending the base, making sure we didn't lose our spot night one. Um, the bozo was being the bozo, who knows what he was actually doing throughout the entire night and the entire day. But um, they do eventually leave and we can finally sleep. And then, yeah, we got a lot to do the next day. So we're going to get into that now. Make sure you like the video, subscribe, turn on post notifications so you guys never miss out on the next video. Well, we did it boys. We survived the first night. Running off two hours of sleep. Bozo finally got on. I'm back awake. Baby's awake. Kids are awake. I'm dead. Not going to lie. But we survived. Now we got a lot to do. Um, it's like 8 a.m. Um, yeah. I don't think we, like, I stopped defending until almost 6. Uh, it, and I don't think it was the same tribe either. It was just a bunch of different tribes. Like, I think it was like three or four tribes just taking turns. Every time we'd have an offline time or anything, they would just be pulling up. And, yes, I know this is a mess, but me having different generators and different, like, pinpoints of turrets, honestly, is the only thing that saved this base. Like putting these here just different angles so when they were trying to run and see spin like they wasted so many tranodons. So just having different angles and stuff, it's a mess. But until we get the wall done and tech turrets, I think I'm just gonna leave all this here and build up the wall, do some floating turrets over. Um Yeah. We gotta get tech. We gotta get this boss done. Alright. Forest room. Wait, did I run past it? Why not? It looks different in preview mode. The whole layout feels weird in preview mode now. It's around here, right? I don't know if I'm on preview or not. It's like I am. I'm here. I'm at the entrance. Alright, come, come inside. You got stone ass gates with no doors. <laughs> Pearl cave is lit. <laughs> Oh, that's hilarious. I wouldn't even have a gate here. That's just, ain't that just blocking our turrets? Yeah. Oh, what is this wall? I know, it's gonna get pushed back. I'm, I'm working on getting everything. I mean, I get uh, what they were doing with the Shandy because it gives it an extra snap point. But like, you can't, you can't have the wall that close. So what was happening at this point is throughout the night, the, um, they auctioned off a couple caves for, um, people that were cheating, meshing and stuff. 
and the bozo ended up buying um pearl cave i think it was like 40 dollars or something small they didn't have a lot here but honestly he wanted it for the spot so we all came together as a group me the wife and the bozo and decided why not we'll try to build in pearl cave for a wipe we'll see what happens so the wall he did not build the wall was like that before the cheaties got banned but um yeah i mean they didn't really have much they had a couple things i mean they did have a couple tech turrets up so we got to get the boss done but it was mainly for the spot so we're just going to move over everything we have and yeah we're going to move this wipe into pearl cave and actually see what happens and yeah i mean pearl cave always gets a lot of you know raids defense a bunch of other things happening to it so let's give this cave a shot let's have a wipe in here and hopefully it goes as planned okay okay and then we can work out of there and then build our main wall yeah we gotta we we gotta quickly get this shit adjusted because holy fuck oh damn did you did you put shit in this rhino no oh there's shit in this rhino nice may wings uh 298 shotgun already made yellows are breeding <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Decent amount of um, obsidian, which will turn into polymer, and they have a decent amount of polymer already. Pearls. A lot. Of, some of the shit is from us. Yeah. All the pearls and shit were from us. Alright. Alright, I'm back over here. Damn, you left BPs here. I guess you don't want none of these BPs. No, they're shit. The Gilly BP could be nice. Take whatever you want. Uh, the rest are IS. I'm gonna grab, I'm just gonna yoink her inventory for her. And then I'm going to kill her just so she don't get she don't get caged if somebody does raid this spot. Cause I mean we got Pearl Cave now. I am going to cryo my Dynonopicus. Controller too, so I'm a lot less mad. <laughs> a lot less. Dude, every single time I went to do something, dude, I would jerk the other way. Like it was so annoying. Yeah, that would irritate the shit out of me. I picked up a new controller. Yeah, don't whip my whip out of my hand this time. <laughs> oh. Can you get a shot on that? Uh, oh. No, I did. Alright. You want to come down here? Yep. Oh, Bro, it stresses me the hell out every time I do that. Oh, where's he at? I don't even see him. I don't even see the like the the line for the boss. Like, you know the health. I don't know why he ran all the way back towards Broodmother. I love how you shot him and he said I'm gonna run the other way. Uh, I fucked up the jump. Oh shit. Um, he's on me. Oh yeah, he. Good. I think he's nerfed a little bit for sure. Bro, it's not registering none of my shots. There we go. Alright, scooch over. Oh, never uh, mind, you're good. Oh. Bro, I thought a monkey just hit you off. And he has his F6 set, which is... I'm still I'm chewing nothing! I just messaged you, I was like, bro... Uh, don't we have to get that element ahead of time? Yeah. She's already aggro, so you better hurry. She was already over here, and she just kind of ran back, so I don't know what she's doing, but... Oh, Nelly, I got it. Alright, she coming. Uh-oh. How close is she? Uh, she's over on the left side still, but she's walking okay. up. Oh, shit, she's here. She dies so All much right. quicker. So how, much, how much Ellie did you get out of that? 20. 20? 
220. Oh, I was about to say 20? <laughs> Bruh, fuck this. <laughs> I can get over here and accept that you're gonna die. Come on. Bruh, you parachuted a little too soon. Especially when I'm reloading. Alright. <laughs> We're good, bro. I had that shit under control. I had that shit timed up perfect. You know how many times I've seen people do that shit, like hop and right, then they get shot out of the area. Yeah, <laughs> shit's always. Oh, and we can actually keep the flags and actually put the flags up. Oh yeah, we can keep the element and everything. Normally, we gotta drop everything. Bitch, you wanna go? Man, you don't want the smoke. Actually, yeah, let's not dig around. We need the element first. <laughs> Cause you imagine we bolo each yeah. other, just spawn back, and then get killed. I was gonna C4 trap you, but. I got C4 Where's... trapped earlier, ain't even gonna lie. Where's my C4? Oh shit. Wasting C4. It would be so funny if this stays in here. And then I blow it up <laughs> and I kill somebody. Hilarious. I mean, bags and shit stay in here, so. Alright, uh, whatever. It's right there. Where... <laughs> Oh fuck, a yellow drop, we don't want to be by this right now. <laughs> Yeet. Come here, boy. We're gonna knock you out. It's gonna take a minute. But we gonna... So all you just do is literally walk around in a circle. Yeah, it's just around a bunch of other stegos. But it's good. It's only aggroing, so we're good. They're supposed to be unbanned now, so should be able to tame it. Could you imagine? 8, 7.2k? Bro, if it just, yeah, 7k or higher is the ideal to start breeding. I mean, I'm okay with like 6.8k. Like, that's the bare minimum, though, for a good tech stego to really breed with. But 7, 7 plus is ideal. Ideal. Yeah, yeah, out of you. Inside of you. I found the shards. Okay, I was an idiot. Come on, buddy. Start running. Knock out something. I know I ain't got the greatest long neck, but shit. Starting to think you don't want to be mine. There we go. Hey, come here, come here, come here, come here. Is this going to be a win for win? One of the little guys is hopping up to me too. I didn't even know they spawned here. Oh, he flew away like a little pussy. You little pussy bitch. 5.9k, whatever, it's a stego. A 168 tech stego, guess we knocking that out too. Damn. He gets opposite gender too. Five point five. We have a five point nine male and a five point five female. <laughs> Wild. All right, come to me, buddy. Nice. Got one of you. All right, I got one. I got a female. You fall in love. Nope, you're gonna start attacking things. All right. Oh, I got two females. That's... I mean, that's good we got two, but... I don't, to get them don't, uh, don't transfer over until you get a, a male and then breed them up before you transfer over. Because oh. I can live. Right, I'm gonna set all these to breed. They're not... They're really not good levels, but I don't care. That's alright. Like I said, I don't really care about the level right now. 
Alright, they should be reading up and we get some eggs, then we should be good. There we go. Shouldn't have said that, but whatever. <laughs> Level 30 wyvern. At least... At least we could pick Arthur's and shit with it if we need to. And that right there is where we're going to end today's video. Hopefully you guys all did enjoy. Make sure you like the video. Make sure you subscribe. Next video we get into a little bit of PvP action as well as building the cave up more and more. Now that we're in Pearl Cave, the swipe is going to be amazing. A lot of PvP, a lot of things to come. And with that being said, stay tuned for future videos. Like, subscribe, check out Unit Arc, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.